When you think about Mardi Gras, the first city that comes to mind is probably New Orleans and the French Quarter covered in colorful beads. But if you're looking for a killer carnival, it's not the only city worth visiting. Looking to stay stateside? Well, Mobile, Alabama is actually the birthplace of the American Mardi Gras. It was first celebrated there in 1703, before the U.S. was even a country. And just a little further west in Galveston, Texas, is the third largest Mardi Gras celebration in the USA. Sure, it's Texas, but Galveston is also on the coast, and their two-week celebration has everything you'd expect. So don't don't forget that colorful mask and some beads to throw off a balcony. But if you're going abroad for Mardi Gras, why not mark two things off your bucket list? Celebrate Carnival and see Venice before it sinks. The Italian city has been putting on its own brand of Mardi Gras since 1162, and part of their festivities include donning the garb of ancient nobility and putting on masquerade balls. But if Europe is too far or you want to keep the party going after February 25th, there's always Martinique in the Caribbean. They start in January and keep it going all the way through Ash Wednesday, culminating in a proper day of mourning where carnival goers wear white and black and literally mourn the end of the festive season.